What up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in New York City at Stadium Goods with Pop Smoke. I got to pull up, though. I just want to go to the right game. I ain't trying to see my boys lose. What's up? Going to do some sneaker shopping tonight. Going to see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then hopefully he's going to buy some sneakers. Yeah. Let's go. Pop, let's talk about growing up in Canarsie. Sneaker shopping habits back then. What were the stores like? Where were you getting sneakers back in the day as like a youngster coming up? You know, it used to be like a little strip. A little strip on the Ave, you know what I mean? They ain't have all of this shit. Yeah. Like these shits right here. Javante, yep. All the bad bitches used to wear these shits. Really? Yeah. And this one. Like if you was getting money, mm -hmm. it's a typical fit right here. You get these. Like a bad bitch would get these. MCM bag, Mac it. Okay. Yeah. And what were you wearing? White on whites? Were any specific sneakers? You know, I always had to get like fresh pair of cocaine, like Air Force Kinda One. Kind of like, yep, white on whites? Yeah, yeah, the Air Force Ones. But uh, for like Jordans, I liked like 11s and shit. 11s, patent leather. Yeah, I like the cool grays. Okay. Those oh, my cool shit. grays, classic. Yeah, those is my shit. Read the New York Times profile. You're on your way to patron of the new, and you were like, you know, we call it the flossy. Yeah. Always designer belts. You're obviously drifting designer. That was always a thing for that special part of Brooklyn, Canarsie, right? Yeah, for sure. And where did you learn it from? Was it just being around? Was it older people in the neighborhood or what? That's the type of vibe we give off, you know what I'm saying? From the older dogs to the younger dogs. Mm -hmm. Just flossing. Got it. <laughs> and it was designer belts even. Yeah, everything, designer. Yeah. Everything, you gotta stay fly, you know what I mean? Skepta hopped on the remix to Welcome to the Party and you said you got connected to Skepta through a sneaker store owner? Yeah. What was that about? My African doggy. Yeah, so how did that come about? <laughs> nah, he just knew somebody I knew. He okay. was like, yo, get me into a pop smoke. And I got a surprise for him, and it just happened like that. Okay. Boy. And I just pulled up like, word, what's going on? Was it someone from Canarsie or someone from the city, the sneaker store? He was from Flatbush. Okay. He got like a nice store in Flatbush. I forgot, oh, damn, I forgot what it's called. Okay. But he know who I'm talking about. All right, he's gonna see this and shout and Shout out my nigga Dex, though. Okay. Right. When did you start designer sneakers? Obviously Dior, fresh Louis Vuitton. I start, I start wearing designer sneakers around 15. Okay. Like Balenciaga and Fendi and all that. Right. Chanel and all that. Okay. <laughs> Pop, you did a short stint at Rock Top Academy. Yeah. You played ball, what position? I was like a point guard, shoot okay. guard. <laughs> Control the floor. Yeah, all and, angles. Exactly. And then how long did you play basketball? I've been playing ball for like, well, I've always been active and shit. I've been playing sports my whole life. Okay. But basketball was only like when I got into high school. No, no, no. Like from middle school, like junior high school to like my second year of high school. Okay. Man. And you were pretty good, but you said health problems had you made yeah. you quit? Yeah, I got a heart murmur, so unfortunately, but damn. Fuck it. You're making more money, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. What's it like for a kid playing basketball coming up and then, you know, you're from Brooklyn and the Nets coming out to welcome to the party? Yeah. Well, is that crazy for you? Shit, crazy, not the word. Like, that shit's like great feeling, you yeah. feel me? Have you been to a game when that happened? Not yet. Oh, that has to happen. I got to pull up, though. I just want to go to the right game. I ain't trying to see my boys lose. Right, right, know? right. I go crazy on that court. <laughs> I start get the ball, throw the ball, and some crazy <laughs> shit. <laughs> what basketball players do you gravitate to? Or are you fans of? I fuck with Kobe. OK. You know I fuck with the King, mm -hmm. Braun. And you got some like low key players like Marbury. Marbury, New York legend. Yeah, I used to go crazy for Marbury, y'all. Uh, Jason Kidd. So you're you know, a young guy, but you respect the legends, the New York yeah, legends. for sure, for sure. Just got back from Paris Fashion Week. Yeah. Like front row, off-white, LV. What's it like to be at a show like those two? Yeah, it's it's crazy, like, word. Shout out Virgil, though. That's mm -hmm. my boy, he always look out. Yeah, you, you chopped it up with him. Virgil what, what, Bob is crazy. It's new line that he's about to come out with. Yeah. It's crazy, like, let me see, I got this LV on. Yeah. Louis V, Louis V, Louis V. Yep. Oh, so you're gonna cycle through Dior, Louis Vuitton now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dior cool. Yeah. Louis V, Louis V. Okay. Come on. You just said that off camera your dad used to get you some Jordans. Do you remember which ones they were? Yeah. My 16s. Dad, he's the first pair my dad got me right here. He got me these shits for Christmas. He actually got me these ones, and I'm 13. 13s. Yeah. 
Facts. He did what he could to keep you laced. Yeah, yeah. Once he saw that I was going in that direction. Okay. Because before, you know, we from Panama, so it's like, mm -hmm. that nigga used to give me like sandals and bullshit like okay. that. But once he saw that I was on some street shit, he like, nah. Switch the style. Yeah, let me get that boy some sneakers. Absolutely. And now traveling city to city, are there any cities that you really love shopping in versus New York, or New York still the top? New York. New York got a yeah. buy snow Paris, nigga. Paris. What? Paris got some shit, cuz. And the thing about Paris, I'ma tell you it's a conversion with the money, right? Yeah. So it's like you get some shit in Paris and you bring it back to the States. Yep. Like, that shit's gonna be more. You yeah. feel me? Steven take you to Goyard or what? Steven? Yeah. I just got a brand new Goyard bag. So. Okay, see, I know how he gets. I saw the dog in Soho a couple years ago with the Goyard right. leash. He ain't take me yet. I'm finna I'm finna take his ass though. Okay. <laughs> Well, we talked about everything. Now's the easy part. Browse the shelves, see what you're gonna take home. Yeah. Let's do it. Gonna get these shits. All right, I got you. What size? Size 10, right? Size 10. Got you. I want these right here. Got you. Cool grays. Got you. Size 10, right? Yeah. And I want all the white Air Forces you got. All right, I got you, bro. Every last one. No problem. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> yes, yes. Alrighty. So it's gonna be one thousand nine hundred and thirty and thirty-five cents. Okay, okay. It's so hot. I ain't worried. And then you got your coat. <laughs> and you're all set. Straight. Thank you, Wolf. Come on, we up. So, Pop Smoke came through. Thanks so much for taking the time. Good looks, bro. Make sure you check out the new song, Christopher Walken, out now, and Meet the Woo 2, coming very soon. Bags. I niggas know run the fucking city, nigga.